Welcome back to Reflect. I'm Toria. And I'm Tarja. Today we'll be discussing the movie Trust, the movie starring Victoria Justice. So if you don't know about Victoria Justice, she was in Victorious and she was also in Zoe 101. And these were Nick shows, right? Yeah, I think it's both Nick. We will specifically talk about different scenes in the movie and our thoughts on the characters. This not this would not be a stat to tap stat review of the movie like we've done in the past. We would just talk about a few scenes in the movie. And so we wouldn't have no breakdown of from beginning to end of the yeah, movie. Yeah, we just gonna highlight a few things that we seen. It was it wasn't that long the movie either. So yeah, and so I will give a quick synopsis of the movie. First, we have Brooke. She's yeah. played by Victoria, right? Yeah, Brooke's character. Yeah, and she's an art gallery owner, and then it's her husband Owen. And he's a newscaster. First, I want to say we did not when we was, um wa- first started watching it. I didn't know what they did. You yeah. know, like how the movie started and stuff. Like I didn't know what was like, what was they role or anything like that. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, we just didn't know what their career was. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And then we noticed in the movie, which spare his like different scandals in the movie, is when Owen has ex Brooke, his wife, they go to Paris for Christmas. But Brooke, she told him no because she had to do a lot of things for her ga- gallery for one of the artists. And there's no way that I'll be like, no. To yeah, go to Paris. You're right. <laughs> go to Paris for Christmas. But I guess she said she owned she owned the gallery, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the movie. She like owned the gallery. So she's like, what? I gotta do some work for that gallery. You know, I could do some work just so I could do my little open shit like opening coming. Like yeah. we call like a like an open house type of thing. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was like if you more passionate about your career, but it's Paris and yeah. Christmas. Like you've never been there. Like, uh-huh. They do like a delay. It's like romantic. It's also like a romantic type of thing around Christmas, going to Paris. Maybe you could push your little opening a little back. Yeah, no. right. <laughs> but, but did he know about the opening before he tried to plan this Paris trip? But who knows? And, and they never specified that in the movie, so so Brooke, one of her artists is named Asar. Asar? Ascar, what? Yeah. Doesn't it? Ascar, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who does a lot um, of new paintings? Yeah, that's like when we see in the gallery, it's kind of like more like female bodies, and mm-hmm. he was showing them off in his artwork. Artwork. Yeah, I feel like when we introduced to him, he's uh, supposedly come off like a smooth, sexy. Yeah, you know, he's gonna be like charming guy, like. Yeah, he was really all char- charming and stuff. Yeah, come off supposed to be deep, saying like a little few quotes in there, like he must have be turned on <laughs> by it or something. But to me, he come off like a cliche, like F boy to me. Mm-hmm, he definitely came off like that. So throughout the movie, we see Owen and Brooke relationship tested from different temptations, trust issues, and jealousy. For sure. Now, one moment in the movie in regards to trust issues is that Owen and Brooke definitely don't seem to trust each other. We see a lot of her checking his phone, asking yeah. about other girls. That because I guess he got like this coworker that he was kind of texting back and forth, and she was like, uh, "Oh, why is he texting his coworker and stuff like that?" And that's why she kept checking his phone and stuff. Yeah, the, one of the coworkers that she was um, talking about, his yeah. intern, her name's mm-hmm. Sarah. So, um, oh, and she don't he don't trust Brooke either when it comes to her going to Paris. So she decided to go um, and stay to Paris with um, the artist. For yeah, like a, for business. I'm like, yeah, that's but so she shady. Like, yeah, that's for sure shady. Like she didn't even go out when when they had a little trip, but she say, "Oh, I go with um one of my artists from my gallery. I go to Paris, and so just them two going without Owen, so he's you know still back at home." Which I would definitely have a problem with my man hanging in Paris with like another woman, especially with someone like Ascar who's trying to be uh, act like Mister Steal Your Girl, right? Out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you mean like yeah, my. If my significant girl were going to sit with somebody else. Then we actually see a few temptations on both ends by Brooke and Owen. Like, Brooke at a um, business meeting with Asgard. He touched her leg. Yeah, we used to get all touchy-feely while she was in Paris and stuff. Like, what is going on? And then while Owen, uh, we see a scene where Owen, he at the bar, get hit on by, like, a hot woman. We learn her name is Amy. Yeah, so we see this um, blonde. She's kind of like a complete opposite, kind of, like, look-wise of Brooke. Of Brooke, and yeah, you see her like them flirting it up. He, his also his friend was there at the bar too, but the friend like laughed, and then they left Owen and the girl Amy talking. And it's funny how the friend knew. Like I think the friend had a wife too. He was yeah, like, oh, I'm like putting ready, it in this. Mm-hmm. He like ready to go to Owen, and Owen still sitting there talking to talking it up to Amy. Yeah, and then um they eventually have sex. Owen and this um Amy. Yeah, the like they had like a few drinks and. It was getting, you know, you know, all intimate and stuff. And then we also see there's like no Louis in the relationship. That was uh, was quick for him to cheat. I'm like, how long was Brooke and Owen together for him to be 
quickly have sex with this girl. Right. Like, I don't even know. And then we see it. Can't, my bad. My go, bad. Yeah, okay. but he can't, like, blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. Even though he said it was his first time. Okay, buddy. Yeah, he told <laughs> Amy that this is our first time ever doing this. And he did tell her he had a girlfriend. Didn't he say that? Did he tell her that? I think so. Yeah, I believe he did tell her that. She, she didn't care. And now we go back to uh, in Paris with Brooke and um, her artist. And we also see continually flirty, touchy Philly with Brooke, even though they're supposed to be there for business. Seems like to me like they was on a date, then mm-hmm. a business going on. And so then we both see them being like tempted by cheating at the same time. But I only the only one took the bait, right? Because it's like you know they kind of switch scenes back and forth between the two. And hold huh, huh, wait, wait. In the movie, I've never seen Brooke and Asgard when they was in Paris do any work. What did they do? Nothing. We just seen a few meetings. Oh, they did have meetings. Oh yeah, God, we only seen one it. meeting. Now, I ain't gonna say a few. One meeting. Yeah, we only seen one movie meeting because it's mostly like in the restaurant, like bar area, and in the hotel room. Yeah, I think that's all they see. Yeah. yeah. So, and I don't even get knows? what this business. What they had to go to Paris for this? <laughs> no, they don't specify it. Oh, they know if they was meeting some other person who did artwork, I think, or something like that. Okay. Yeah, something with her gallery. I guess we won't look at the ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, oh, well. They didn't really get details. Come on now. They yeah. didn't get details. The movie wasn't that complicated. No. Uh, the movie. And then we also see like a few jealous moments. First during the me- uh, middle of the movie, uh, we see Owen witness at the um at the um, art museum. Like we back to so they all back from Paris. Owen, you know, it's a few weeks later and we see Owen come into like the opening. They oh. finally have Brooke opening and we see Asgard he touches and then laughing with Brooke, mm-hmm. touching the bottom of her back, like near her butt. You know how guys be yeah. you know, like they hand around you and mm-hmm. you know, try to be a little touchy silly and we also oh when he up there witnessed this and then that's when we see Amy, the yeah. blonde that he hooked up with mm-hmm. also was in the gallery. Mm-hmm. She was just looking over there at them too. And Side note, um, at this point in the movie, Brooke and Asker are like no longer, oh yeah, we did say that, um, they no longer in Paris. Yeah. And then another jealous moment we see is Amy being bold, coming up to Owen and Brooke, I mean, that she does know Owen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Owen, okay. he had lied a few seconds ago and didn't know she was, uh, who she was when she first came in the gallery. Yeah, it's like she introduced us, she, um, when she introduced herself, like Amy, she's like, yeah, we met, uh, uh we met Owen, cause Owen trying to lie. Yeah. Like, you know how he's like, oh, I, I never seen this girl in my life. Yeah. Yeah, because they standing there, Brooke and Owen, and Amy she keep looking at them, and Owen, you know, being slick, looking back, and mm-hmm. so Brooke tells him, um, do you know that girl? And he, you know, he hurry up and lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was quick. <laughs> and everybody, I feel like, can see in the gallery that something happened between Amy and Owen. Yeah. I don't know if it was the camera, like, you know, how they try to shoot the scene mm-hmm. to make it seem like everybody was know something's going on or what like tension between them or something and that's when we get the first i feel like it's the only twist in the movie yeah, that i thought was the the rest, what what's actually was going on yeah so interesting and pivotal part of the movie is during a flashback we learned that brooke has set um all went up with amy to test his loyalty so she yeah. was the one that hired amy through like a tip agency that tests spouses loyalty Mm-hmm. So Amy, she wasn't there for coincidence or just a flirt with Owen. No. She also actually was set up between Brooke. We also learned how deceptive Amy is because um she told Owen about the fact that Brooke won that hired her to basically tip him. Mm-hmm. And but we also know from Brooke's perspective, Amy, Amy, she wasn't supposed to sleep with him though. Right, because she said she don't sleep with the person. She just get video and she record conversations and stuff between um her and the guy. Yeah. Yeah, you are wh- whoever she's like, you know, trying to tempt to yeah. or seduce. Yeah, out pretty here. much. Yeah. So when Brooke and Amy, like, this is another further in the movie. Brooke and Amy, they meet up, you know, just I'm guessing just to get her payment, Amy. Mm-hmm. And she lied to Brooke that she didn't um sleep with Owen, which is clearly um she lied. Yeah, for sure. And we also learned that Amy actually have a boyfriend. Yeah, like I thought it was so weird in the movie that she actually had a boyfriend. So why is she so quick to sleep with Owen? Oh, because he was in her top five. Remember she said that to him? She yeah, was like so at the Amy, bar. Yeah. So Amy reason sleeping with him was to be on the news because he was a newscaster and Amy she always wanted to be on the news. Yeah. And he was like in her hall um past. Yeah. And her, her boyfriend set up and he was um number four to be a Zach. Yeah, she had like a crush on him, so that's mm-hmm. why she took the bait, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say that Amy, she said that she wanted to be like a newscaster, but we never see like towards any movie or anything this brought up again. Uh, no, a journalist or anything. And basically, everyone would, uh, we introduced to in the movie is being so deceptive and doing the dirt in this movie. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like the movie also came off cringy, because uh, it would be like a sexy type movie, especially like some of the lines in the movie we see. Asar wants to be seductive, and when he, he say, "When I see you, I see colors." Yeah, and you know, like that's a little line he's trying to do. But if you, you know, like F boy, which you mentioned before, line, you know what F boy is? Look it up. Yeah, <laughs> like you know. Yeah, like mm. and then everybody, everybody also seemed like hypocrites. Mm-hmm. So, towards the end of the movie, Brooke and Owen finally air out the cheating, and Brooke tested him. Each person put the blame on, on the other for see- cheating, so it's like a lot of gaslighting throughout mm-hmm. the movie. The end of the movie was not uh, that great in the sense it left more questions. We don't know whether they stayed together or not. She asked him they either see uh, would they see each other like on Christmas. Yeah. I also want to point out the fact that we don't even know that if um, Brooke... And the Asgard guy? Yeah. Like, whether well, they hooked well, up. Yeah, in Paris. Because they never tell, told us whether they hooked up in Paris or not. Yeah. Basically, we do see, like, a flashback during the moment of Brooke and Asgard, like, in a hotel room. And it would be, like, a sexy, seductive scene. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the rip-off of Fifty Shades of Grey right. <laughs> moment. Yeah. But not really. And he up there hugging up on her, but we never, like... No, she seen... did say, kind of rejected him, right? She rejected him, but we don't know if it's, like... If she lying. Yeah, if she lying or not. That's what it is. They try to let left that kind of vague in the movie, like, for us to decide whether she cheated on Owen as Owen cheated on her. So, yeah, as I was saying about the ending yeah. and stuff, like, we don't know whether they stay together or not. She asked him that they see each other on Christmas, and we see a flash forward scene where they both at Christmas and Owen had holding a baby and Brooke also there. But then we realize it's just a false reality. Like we back to before we had this mm-hmm. fantasy, so we never knew what happened to Amy or Asgard. Her art was her art gallery, gallery even <laughs> successful at this point. <laughs> The bare minimum part of the movie. Yeah, the basic. Like, was he even successful? Who knows? We don't know what the, what happened to Asgard. Like, did he? Uh, like, we don't even know. Like, I didn't even see no big connection between him and Brooke as they were trying to make a scene nah. in the movie. And he's like somebody who was just like flirting everybody, honestly. Yeah, because he even started flirting Amy too when she was at that gallery. Yeah, Asgard. Like, so it's like whatever. So just a few side notes mm-hmm. for our final thoughts about this movie. Yeah. I wasn't like investing in the relationship like with Owen and Brooklyn. I want to root for either or. I didn't care whether they cheated or not. <laughs> See, I didn't. I was never invested either. It's like mm, they didn't really go into anything about their relationship that was like, oh, we deep, see deep. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I've been like of a seductive type movie, that's why, and they Maybe. wanted you to see like. Oh, how you get tempted and cheating could happen and like I did like the outfits that oh, Victoria yeah, Justice was fire um, character wore mm-hmm. look more fashion like the yeah I like it fashionable I guess you would say and I felt like the acting was good you know like a short movie it was all right but I just feel like it wasn't that uh, complicated or you know that interesting type no. movie just like a simple movie I that you like to watch you didn't actually have an agency though like that like oh you can set your see if your spouse will potential cheat on you right I don't know uh, they got that yeah, right. I thought it was like a good twist in the thing too so what you set your man up and what she wrong for what she did like who the blame for that him cheating or her uh, setting up her man touching yeah like a, it's in a decoy or something like you think yeah who was in the wrong in that let us know your thoughts on that but I feel like he didn't have to cheat, even though she did. Yeah, I feel he like didn't she have was to take dirty bait. for basically, yeah, setting him up. And what you said, she didn't. I mean, he didn't have to take the bait on that. Mm-hmm. So that is our opinion about the movie. Trust we didn't go to step by step. We just uh, said a few scenes and we our thoughts on it. Yeah, and if you like to check out the movie, it's somewhere floating around in the internet. If you want to check it out, but uh, would you recommend people watch it? I recommend it if you bored. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely like a. If you bored, type yeah. of movie. I feel like it had like a little twist in the movie, which we just spoiled for you guys. Right. But you can see, <laughs> you can see <laughs> how it all the details of how it played out. So we would like you guys to like and subscribe to our channel. So anyone that's watching, please subscribe. Hit yeah, the subscribe yeah. button. Yes. <laughs> Check out our other videos. Like the videos. Yeah. We have a few other ones on our channel that actually did a breakdown of different movies. Yes. Thank and that probably was more, oh well, more, more interesting. Detailed. Yeah. yeah. Interested in detail. <laughs> so we want to thank you guys for watching this, listening, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.